Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on uh, this new Delta. Uh, it's a Touch 2.0 uh, faucet. I believe the actual model on it is the ESSA, um, but it is the touch sensitive uh, faucet with a magnetic docking spray head. Now I should mention too, while this is kind of an expensive faucet, I guess you could say, I actually found a pretty good deal on it. And I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check that deal out. So anyway, I was looking for one of these touch faucets. Um, everybody was raving about them and I kind of wanted one. So did quite a bit of research on them, checked them all out, and it was pretty clear early on that Delta, the Touch 2.0 was the way to go. It was kind of the most popular. Everybody says it works the best. And I'll tell you right off the get-go, they were absolutely right. Uh, it does work very, very well. There's no missed touches. It works 100% of the time, every time. Uh, some of the other models I noticed from other brands, the, the sensors would wear out or people were say the sensors would wear out or it wouldn't register a touch. Um, it just was unreliable. The Delta, not so. It works perfectly every time. I've never had a problem with it. Also, the battery life on the Deltas are quite a bit longer. Uh, this does take six AA batteries. Um, and it does, you can actually plug it in. Uh, it does have an AC adapter if you want to not use batteries with it, which is a really nice feature also. Um, but you do have to buy that separately. Uh, I haven't had mine for a very, very long time yet, but I had read reviews that the batteries last a good one to two years. Uh, mine have never had been replaced yet or anything like that. The fit and finish of it is very, very good. As expected with Delta, they make very high quality uh, kitchen faucets and this one's no exception. The mechanism on it, as far as the magnetic head, is really nice. It has a weight inside of it that will pull it back and reset itself uh, automatically. You don't have to redock it or push it into there. It's completely magnetically driven too, which is really nice too because you don't have to like fit it up in there. Um, and it doesn't really leave room for like water and like calcium buildup inside there. The spray action is very, very good, uh, better than most other faucets I've used. It does have this thing on it called a temp sense, which basically there's a little LED light on the front that changes from blue to red and anything in between, like a purple in between. Uh, I believe it goes from like 80 degrees Fahrenheit to like 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can know what the temperature of the water is before you touch it, which is actually handy so you won't burn yourself or something like that. The spray nozzle itself also has like these rubberized grommets on them, basically, uh, like shower heads have, I guess, or some shower heads have. Or basically like if mineral buildup happens within those, it'll start spraying all over the place in different areas. Uh, you can just kind of rub it and it will break those down and you'll get a nice, perfectly clean stream of water, uh, which is nice because it, that happens to a lot of other faucets. It really happens to all of them and there's nothing you can do uh, if you don't have that kind of rubberized thing on there. So that'll prevent that. Just do it every couple months whenever you notice it and it perfectly fixes it back to a nice normal stream. Which actually is a really nice feature because it just, I don't know, it just looks stupid when you have all those things spraying in every direction and it's annoying. So they really have thought this thing out pretty well. Uh, very good and well engineered faucet, I guess you could say. Anyway, if you guys have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.